Well, moving on to community matters, the 14th annual Central High School Boys and Girls Basketball Finals are happening this weekend and here to talk about the event and how you can attend is education consultant Brent Smither. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you for having so us. So this is very cool because for these students, they really get to uh, play in the big arena and that's like an, an amazing opportunity. Is this exciting for them? Yeah, I think it is. You know, we. Uh, it is a big arena. It's the biggest one uh, around for high school students to play. And, and you know, unless the team's making it to the state finals, this uh, it's the biggest venue they can play in. And uh, yeah, so the excitement of the arena, you know, we try to do um, do things that are um, kind of big time for some of these small schools. You know, with you know, dropping the lights and introductions and team tunnels and all that, and then just an opportunity to play in front of family and uh, friends and classmates. You know, uh, in a big arena is really great for yeah. them. Selling arena and having all of their classmates cheer them on. It must be you know just a motivating experience. Right. Tell me a little bit about how many teams and uh, you know and the the levels that they're participating. Yeah. So we have uh, there's ten games over two days. So starting Friday at two o'clock, and then there's four games on Friday every two hours and then Saturday um, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning there's six games on Saturday division one through division five um, boys and girls um, play kind of back to back in each division um, and so yeah you know with uh, if you you know with the weather changing the way it is maybe a rainy Friday it might be a great place to be to uh, watch some basketball because one ticket on Friday can allow you to see all four games and another ticket on Saturday can allow you to see all six games so if you uh, really want to see some great high school basketball um, you know 14 bucks can get you uh, a lot of good basketball. That is a great deal. How can people get tickets? Do they just show up or they, can they contact you guys? Yeah, a couple of, a couple of ways to do it. The, the going to uh, down to the Salon Arena to the box office, uh, they can pick up tickets. If you're a school site and you want to buy a pack of tickets because you have a Reuter bus coming in, um, I know Selma's looking like they're going to be there and a few other great schools around the valley are going to be there. Uh, contact the ticket office down at Salon Arena and uh, you can buy a pack of tickets, take them back to your school site, sell them there. And and then, uh, you know, um, and, and bring your router buses. Um, if you're just general public, going to, going to the box office is the way to do it. And for the winning uh, boys and girls team, what happens for them? Do they just kind of be crowned champions or do they move on to another final? Yes, both of those are true. So yeah, they're crowned uh, Valley champions. So uh, they will uh, they will be just honored at center court as Valley champs up on the stage with confetti. Um, and, but then they do go on. They, they enter with the Southern section into the Southern state uh, championships. Um, and if they continue to play there, like Clover West girls did last year, they make their way all the way to, to the state championship ultimately um, up in Sacramento. Very exciting. I'm sure those students are nervously awaiting the CIF finals. Well, thank you so much, Brent, for joining us and uh, telling us all about this. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Casey, sunrise time is 640.